saw at the end of last year because he did not even attempt a shot the other night against Bellamy. Yeah, it's pretty surprisingly. He hasn't gotten off to the start that we all thought that we were uh, expected to see this year. But, you know, a great opportunity today. It's a new game, new day. And so uh, we're going to see what he has, and hopefully he brings it today. Curry and Braun set to go. Matt Potter will be throwing the ball up. Our officials today, Ron Griever, Kip Kissinger, and Matt Potter. And we are ready to go. Al Ellis with the ball for the cards, guarded by Calvin. Here's James. You think they'll go inside early, try to get Curry engaged a little? I think so. It looks like they're going inside to him right now. Let's see. Trying to work him on the post. He gets the double, swings it over to Huntley Hatfield down the lane, and he throws it away. Now, Wright State, it's deceiving that 102-97 loss because they had a 16-point lead with about 13 minutes to go the other night against Davidson at home. They led by as many as 21. Davidson came back to force overtime. One Calvin, their number one offensive option, but Amari Davis can score too. He's got a great mid-range game. And Larry, you know, he played at, at, at Green Bay in the Horizon League, was the newcomer of the year. Then he played at Missouri last year, and now he's back at Wright State, and he had a double-double in his first game for them. Yeah, he put up some big-time scoring numbers his first two years at Green Bay. He was an all-conference player. So he's definitely proven that he could score bunches in this league. How about an aggressive take? for Jalen Withers. Withers has maybe been the most consistent card, but that's something they're going to have to stop is Calvin getting to the basket. He gets an easy two there, and they're up 4-2. That's who you don't want to get going early. Withers, though, does look much improved earlier this year. I mean, in, in the three games, I know the two exhibitions don't count, but as we see him attempt another three, it's off the rim. Rebound by Davis on the break, and it's going to be a walk. Scott Nagy, the head coach of the Wright State Raiders. He's in his seventh season at Wright State. Was at South Dakota State for years. Helped that program transition from Division II to Division I. And he's been to a total of five NCAA tournaments, including the one last year with his Wright State squad, Larry, that won an NCAA tournament game last year in the first four, uh, the first win in program history. Is L. Ellis, I think he might have... Uh, Gotten hit a little bit there. And speaking of Coach Nagy, the last five years, they either won the regular season championship or won the tournament championship. So really has established a winning culture here at Wright State. An impressive uh, yeah, resume he has with over 500 wins in his career. Kenny Payne still looking for win number one in just his second game at U of L. Ellis drives, kicks it over to James in the corner. He goes inside and hits the jump. He's been impressive, too, in the early going. As I said, 16 points in his first game. Yeah, he really has. He uh, was wondering how he was going to do. He's coming off of a serious injury coming from last year. So he's really gotten off to a good start. Let's see if he can keep it going today. Davis with a miss. Finky goes way up for the offensive rebound. And we'll get a reset here. 15 on the shot clock for Wright State as they try to go inside to Braun, guarded by Curry. Travel. Jump ball, possession to right state. Here's Kenny Payne, his first season at U of L, and uh, a thousand point scorer at the University of Rule, but an assistant coach at Oregon, at Kentucky, in the NBA with the Knicks. And uh, Larry, you know, one of the things he's trying to do is bring former players like you really back into the program. He really has. He's really brought a camaraderie back to the alumni and really kind of bonded us back together. A lot of guys had to come back to the program, but to see one of our own in that position right there has really kind of bonded uh, the university and the players and alumni that used to play here. And it looks like we actually have some, some fans still filtering in. Again, it's a snowy Saturday here in Louisville, but the crowd not bad for the early going here. Uh, all tied up at four after the Jalen Withers turnover. Norris with it out front. Trying to go back into Braun, and it looks like Louisville's going to go with Curry just kind of matched up on him, and so far so good, although Curry's going to get the foul there. Early on, it looks like they're trying to attack Curry to put pressure on him, maybe to pick up some fouls that they did, as they did this last play. Maybe to get him in foul trouble, although, again, the other night he didn't even attempt a shot against Bellerin. I think Louisville would like to see him just a little bit more engaged as Braun goes to the line. He'll have two free throws. That was the first personal on Curry and the first on the team. Braun misses the first free throw. Yeah, I think when we talked about that sense of urgency, I think that more so speaks to Sidney Curry just to 
kind of get that motor going and get him going in to, to how he ended last year, get him playing in that same rhythm. It's really right. going really to need him to uh, really achieve the goals that we're going to want to do this year. This right State team, one of the best free throw shooting teams in the country last year, but Braun, not their best free throw shooter. He was just one for three in their opener, and he misses both of them there, so the Cards with a chance to take the lead. Jalen Withers aggressively to the basket with the left hand there. That's when he's at his best, getting downhill, attacking the basket. He has such a size advantage. He has Amari Davis trying to guard him. Calvin gets in the paint, though, and scores again. That's four quick points for Calvin coming off his 37-point effort. Mercy Miller set the check-in at the next dead ball for the Cards. Be interesting to see what, what Coach Payne does with that rotation because he hasn't got a lot of out of Hersey Miller, Fabio Basili. We haven't seen him much at all since the first exhibition game. But they're kind of they're going to need another guard to be able to come in and spell L. Ellis a little bit. Definitely, because at the end of the you know, L. Ellis playing a lot of minutes for the whole year. That's really going to take a toll on him. So okay, that was got to be able to that spare him some had minutes. to be a foul or a walk. But uh, no call down there. Cards going to Huntley Hatfield. Wright State doubling the post early and, and making the cards make a pass out of it. Curry, his first shot attempt of the season, a little short on the left-handed jump hook. Brandon Knoll, number 14 in the, in the game for Wright State, as I think he misses the triple. Ellis tries to go back, Finky, and Noel takes it away from him, and they got a little four-on-one break, and Noel doesn't pass it. He goes all the way to the basket and misses, but Here Alex is. Hubricks with the follow for the Raiders, and they are back in front at 8-6. I think Noel got a little deep right there on his penetration. Got to maybe kick it out a little bit early before he get himself in trouble in the paint. And nobody got back on defense. Roosevelt Wheeler and Hersey Miller both set the check-in at the next dead ball here. We'll get a TV timeout at the next dead ball. Cards down 8-6 early. You have about three for six from the field in the early going. And L. Ellis with the baseline jumper to tie it back up. There's a balance he's got to find between looking for his offense, getting other people involved, but they also they need him to be a scorer. They definitely do because it's a nice pass there. It was a very nice pass. Um, have to have that balance because he has to get everybody going. He has to set the table for everybody, but at the same time, we need him to be aggressive looking for his shot as well. Two straight times down the court, two straight jumpers by L. Ellis, and we're all tied at 10. We'll see if Rice State goes back to that pick and roll. Nolan Calvin, and look at that Braun. Two straight wide open layups, and that might get Sid Curry a, a seat on the bench here. Uh, Roosevelt Wheeler is already at the scorer's table, but. gets the high pick from Curry and can't get the third straight shot to go down. Noel with the rebound. Right State with a 12-10 lead here. Trey Calvin, four points in the early going. Braun with their last four on two wide open layups. Calvin out to Noel and his three is off. Lola has to be able to create some easy baskets. We're not really getting any easy baskets. We're playing a lot of half-court offense, which is sort of a struggle for us right now. So we have to find a way to get some offensive rebounds, get to the free throw line, just find easy ways to see the ball go through the hoop to build up that confidence. Withers passes up the three over to James. He goes all the way on feet. He misses. Just, just like the offensive that. rebound. Forcing the action a little bit. It's almost like they pass it around the perimeter, waiting for something to happen. But James forced the action there, and the Cards get a basket on the follow from Huntley Hatfield. And that's what they have to continue to do more, continue the offensive rebound. Luke has really good athletes, and so they have to use their athleticism to be able to create easy opportunities for themselves. Just a bad pass there, but they're struggling a little bit with the pick and roll with Braun. Ellis to James in the corner. He can hit that three. He hit a huge one down the stretch to get Louisville within one the other night against Bellerman. And Ellis sees an advantage, gets to the basket, no foul called. He's still down on the baseline, so a man advantage right now for Wright State. And Calvin is the – he just got shot Show. by yes. <laughs> And apparently no one saw it but us. <laughs> I mean, he just two-hand shoved him. And we're going to get James stepping out of bounds. All right. Of Got it. Up and down action. Oh, really going. We are all tied at 12. The Cards and the Raiders.
It's Tim Tebow in a Verbo. Where you get the whole place to yourself. So it's always just you and your gators. I remember when I first started flying and we would experience turbulence, I would watch the flight attendants. If they're not nervous, then I'm not going to be nervous. Financially, I'm the flight attendant in that situation. The relief that comes over people once they know they've got a guide to help them through, I definitely feel privileged to be in that position. Give a gift that means a lot without spending a lot. Shop early and save only at K. It's big, it's back, and it's still six dollars. Get the big box y'all love today. Love that chicken from Popeyes. If you do what feels right, then own your style. Philips One Blade. Your style made simple. There's always a way to make life better. If I drag myself down, I drag us all down. There's no vape in team. and never stop playing. You get the most from the game when you're having fun. Back here at the KFC Yum Center, the young fans enjoying a bottle and taking in six ties in the first 7-15 of game action. We'll go right today, all even at 12. Kent Taylor, Larry O'Bannon here. And Larry, this series, this is the fourth meeting, but the first since 1996. And I'm not sure the cards are going to get that average. Went about 15 points. This is, could be a little back and forth. Yeah, this looked like this was going to go down to the wire back and forth. The last time, well, the last time they met in 1996, look at that gas. What's it, about $4 a gallon now? Independence Day, the top grossing movie. 100, look at that. The, you used to do the Macarena, didn't you? Back, you even remember 1990s? You were just a kid. <laughs> You just a couple have, years old back then. Back <laughs> 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 now, foul down inside Roosevelt Wheeler in the game for the cards, and that foul uh, will send Blake Sisley to the line. A 6'9 sophomore from Santa Claus, Indiana, just up the road here. Went to Heritage Hills High School, the same high school that produced one Jake Cutler, former NFL quarterback, and Sisley hits the first free throw. That was the first foul on Wheeler, the second on the cards in this half. Wright State still without a foul. Cards with James Wheeler, Huntley Hatfield, Hersey Miller, and Kamari Lands, the freshman, on the floor as well. Lands got a pretty good look at that baseline jumper off that out-of-bounds play late in that Bellarmine game after hitting some big free throws. We got Davis, Norris, Knoll, Wellage, and Sisley on the court for the cards. I mean, for the, uh, for the Raiders. Here's Hersey Miller. Transfer from Tennessee State. Huntley Hadfield, transfer from Tennessee. A lot Three of on the shot a lot clock. Kind of had to get the, not a lot of motion. Positive to come out of that offense. Yeah, not a lot of movement, just some passing. Davis down the lane, and he's going to draw a foul on Wheeler. Is that two quick fouls on Wheeler? That was, and we're gonna we're gonna get another timeout here too. Wheeler just in long enough, 45 seconds to get two fouls. 14-12 Raiders. My dad was a hard worker. 
He used to do side jobs, installing windows, charging something like 100 bucks a window when other guys were charging four to 500 bucks. He just didn't want to do that. He was proud of the price he was charging. My dad instilled in me, always put the people before the money. Be proud of offering a good product at a fair price. I think he'd be extremely proud of me. Yeah. It's Tim Tebow in a Verbo. Where you get the whole place to yourself. So it's always just you and your gators. The moment you dreamed of has arrived. Introducing the Crime Club Collection. Exclusive styles at Zales. The Diamond Store. I used the wrong paint. It's big, it's back, and it's still six dollars. Get the big box y'all love today. Love that chicken from Popeyes. If you do what feels right, then own your style. Phillips One Blade, your style made simple. There's always a way to make life better. From the studio that brought you Big Hero 6. Our mission is dangerous. What is this place? Discover the strange creatures of Strange World. Don't touch that. Hey, hey, stop pushing buttons. Disney Strange World, rated PG. From Holiday Hills, Illinois, Keenan. Hey, Keenan. Looking good. Feeling good. I just found all these cars on Auto Trader. Wow. I wait for the best part there, microwave. A dealer is going to deliver this car to our home. Never, never leave, leave home. home. Never leave home. Oh, it's here. There is one thing I can't do from home. Drive. Someone stop him. Keenan. Got the letter, refrigerator. KFC Up Center, right State with a 14-12 lead on Louisville. And I'm Kent Taylor sitting next to Larry O'Bannon today. And how about Larry O and his UOL career? 1138 career points. That final 14 back in 2005. What a special season it was. He averaged 15 points a game for that. The regional MVP out in Albuquerque. And you see that banner. That's the last banner for now. It's the last banner <laughs> up there, at least on the men's side. The women have hung a few since then. But uh, Larry, can you believe it's been that long? 17 years. Man, it's been a breeze, man. It seems like yesterday all of those memories here were just happening. Everything's so vivid, man. It's, it was a precious. It was a precious time. <laughs> it Not was a precious TV. time. It was. It was great memories. Here. Loved it here. Amari Davis with the free throws there for Wright State as they're now up 16 to 12. Now you played professionally quite a bit all over the world, right? For the last 17 years. I did. I played in Europe. I played in South America. Played in Israel for a few years. Had a wonderful career. Seen some amazing places. And had a great opportunity to take my family around the world. Allowed them to experience some things. Had, had a wonderful time. Percy Miller with the Larry O'Bannon-like triple from the corner to get the cards back within one. Sisley's going to try a three for Wright State, and he answers the first three. I'm sorry, Wellen, the uh, Greensburg, Indiana native, the 6'6 junior. Andrew Wellage with the triple there. So the first threes of the game for either team as Wright State is back in front, 19-15. Cards with J.J. Trainer in right now, as well as Kamari Lands. J.J. Trainer, Larry, kind of close to that male connection with you. His dad, Jason Osborne, one of the 
Cole and Mayo stars as Kamari Lands loses the lane. Two seconds of the shot clock. He's not going to get it off. Miller not going to get it off. Trying to draw a foul. But some decent defense there by the Raiders. JJ comes from good DNA. His dad was a, a heck of a basketball player, one of the best to ever come out of Mel High School, one of the best ever to come out of the city of Louisville. Uh, Jason Osborne, a great player, somebody that I looked up to when I was a young kid and somebody that I wanted to emulate. So he definitely comes from a good family of basketball. You, Jason, Daryl Griffith, Bobby Turner, been some pretty good players come out of Mayo and start your valent. And they just signed another one earlier this week, Caleb Glenn. We might talk about yeah, that. Wesley later. Cox, yeah. Bill Button. A lot of great players that come through this UofL, mail the UofL pipeline. There's Trainer on two scoring in the paint. Yeah, don't forget Wesley Cox. Right. What a player he was. Trainer gets the cards back with him, too. Here is Norris for Wright State, guarded by Hersey Miller, who hit that three a minute ago. The only three of the game so far for the cards. Huntley Hatfield guarding Sisley inside. Seemed like the second unit's come in and given the team a little bit more life. They play with a little more spark. Noel spins around Trainer and puts it up and in. Cards down four. Ellis, Withers, and Curry all set to check in at the next dead ball. But you're right. They have uh, seem to have a little more energy from this, this second group. Roosevelt Wheeler played less than a minute and picked up two quick fouls. Here's Miller, he's got the three-pointer, he drives in, he gets into the paint, which is something we haven't seen a lot of, and that gets him a three for James in the corner. Great execution, it was a great extra pass, and a great shot. I think you really like the energy that Miller's bringing. The Garden Norris back outside, and the three hits nut Sisley, doesn't even hit the rim, and here come the cards with a chance to take the lead, down just one. Yeah, they're moving the ball and they're moving and he's driving and the good dip. basketball to Huntley Hatfield for the slam. Yeah, Miller making things happen at the offensive end. Yeah, these guys are executing really good. Got the ball moving, the ball hopping. Not a lot of extra dribbling. The card first lead. Davis drives on James and gets the left-handed shot to go. In the mid-range, he is very talented. Yes, he is. And a lot of Big kids nowadays, scorer. they just concentrate on the threes <laughs> or the dunks. Kind of a lost start, that mid-range game, but Amari Davis has it. James down the lane trying to answer. He does just that. He gets the basket and the foul, and the cards are back in front, and James... Yeah, making sure the students know he got the end one there. <laughs> yeah, it was a good move, really able to keep his pivot foot down, keep his composure, and get the and opportunity for and one. Look at the replay again. Good use of the pivot foot there in the lane. And that's we've seen the cards get into the paint the last few possessions, which we, we didn't really see much the other night or in the first few minutes. That's a good sign. You know that the coaches have talked about it. They shot a lot of threes the last game and wanted to cut down on that number. So now you see these guys putting their head down, driving more, getting into the paint for the score. James hits the free throw to complete the three-point play. This card's biggest lead in the game at 25-23. The freshman from Orlando, Florida, who missed all last year with an Achilles injury. He checks out. Al Ellis back in the game, as well as Hersey Miller, Sidney Curry, J.J. Trainer, and Jalen Withers. Davis misses the shot, and then oh, I don't turn it over. Davis almost comes up with the steal. Here's Ellis, the lob. Who's going to get it? Trainer with a great catch, gathers himself and scores. Great play. Way to stay good with JJ. Finky drives right by Miller, and we're going to get a foul here on Hersey Miller. And we're going to get a dead ball here. But how about, how about Hersey Miller and the spark he's given the cards as he drives down, gets it to Brandon Huntley Hatfield for the big slam. Cards lead 27-23. My dad was a hard worker. He used to do side jobs, installing windows, charging something like a hundred bucks a window when other guys were charging four to five hundred bucks. He just didn't want to do that. He was proud of the price he was charging. My dad instilled in me, always put the people before the money. Be proud of offering a good product at a fair price. 
I think he'd be extremely proud of me. Yeah. From Santa Claus. State's Postal Service. If you do what feels right, then own your style. Philips One Blade. Your style made simple. There's always a way to make life better. From the studio that brought you Big Hero 6. Our mission is dangerous. What is this place? Discover the strange creatures of Strange World. Don't touch that. Because your lives are forever entwined. Darling, please be mine. Love Entwined, exclusively at K. How does Popeye's chicken sandwich get so crunchy, juicy, and tasty? We make everything with love. Make your taste buds dance for $4.49. We make the Popeye's Cajun turkey with love, too. Order it while you still can. Start playing and never stop playing. You get the most from the game when you're having fun. I remember way back when. Cards with their biggest lead of the afternoon, 27-23, thanks in large part to the play of freshman Mike James and Larry. A pretty good start to his UFL career. He has. He's really made some rhythm shots here. You see it penetrating right here, keeping his bigger foot down, scoring. But he's really seen the ball go through. He seems to have found his offensive rhythm here early in the game. The fifth most points by a UFL freshman in his first game with his 16 the other night against Bellarmine. He has eight already this afternoon. Only Jerry Smith, Marcus Maven, Samardo Samuels, and Darius Perry scored more. Amari Davis down there. He misses, but Braun with the offensive rebound. Three cards standing right there. He goes and gets the ball, and L. Ellis gets a foul, and Braun will try to complete the three point play. Davis misses, and Larry, I mean, he, somebody's got to block out Braun. Yeah, we got to find a way to keep a body on Now, getting him to the foul line hasn't been a bad thing. He's 0 for 3 there this afternoon. Cards up 27-25. What's been Louisville uh, in the last couple minutes there, we've seen their offense is, is running a lot more crisply than it was earlier, and they're starting to pass the ball back. Yeah, the second unit really came in and gave these guys a spark. The first eight minutes and a half, they didn't have any assists. In the last four minutes, they've got five assists. And so you really see the ball movement. You see the left dribbling. And in turn, these guys have started to make some shots. As you see, Mike James knocked down a few with the Liberal ball, ball movement. And you see Ellis going to the basket. Ellis gets to the basket after Hershey Miller missed the drive, but then he came up with a steal off the rebound to keep the ball at that end of the court. And Ellis puts the cards back up by four, equaling their largest lead of the afternoon. Jumper by... Hubrix get right, gets right state back within two. Davis, Calvin, Hubrix, Braun, and Finky on the court for right state. Calvin, Trey Calvin scored those four points early, but has not scored in quite a while. Ellis misses the three. Curry almost had the offensive rebound, but Davis comes up with it for the Raiders, and they've got a chance to tie or take the lead. He goes right by Curry, and then Trainer with the block and keeps it inbounds to her. That was the nice look for Withers, but he can't get that to go. Here comes Hubrix. Last few possessions, Will was really started to settle. They did a good job when they won their run of putting their head down, getting to the basket, scoring in the paint. Now it seems like the starters have got back in, and we've kind of got back to settling. Hubrix with the triple and put right state back in front at 30 to 29. Card shooting 54% from the field. Right state shooting 
It's the sixth lead change this afternoon, and Mercy Miller has been the spark, but twice he's gotten to the basket, just not able to finish. He's got to be able to finish there. He's had a clean look at the basket. He's got to be able to finish there. You knew Calvin was going to look for some offense soon. He hasn't taken a shot in a while. He misses at the basket. Here's Ellis. Withers drives in, dishes it to Curry. Can't handle it and loses it going out. Curry's got to be ready for that. That was good penetration by Jalen Withers. Think he tries a quick basket, ends up getting an offensive rebound in the basket. The right State is back up by three. And Curry still has not made a shot yet this season as Kenny Payne's going to take a quick timeout. Brandon Huntley Hatfield sets the check back in as well. I remember when I first started flying and we would experience turbulence, I would watch the flight attendants. If they're not nervous, then I'm not going to be nervous. Financially, I'm the flight attendant in that situation. The relief that comes over people once they know they've got a guide to help them through, I definitely feel privileged to be in that position. Scott Nagy's Wright State Raiders outscoring the Cards bench 14 to 7 here in the early going. And that's how Wright State has amassed the three point lead here 32 29, 446 to play. Kent Taylor, Larry O'Bannon courtside here. And uh, Larry, we see Sidney Curry has gone back to the bench. L. Ellis, Mike James, JJ Trainer, Jalen Withers, and Brandon Huntley Hatfield. And Curry again, it's the second straight game. The Cards just not getting much out of the game. Yeah, it just. It seems like, you know, the focus is not there where it needs to be uh, on both ends of the floor, offensively, defensively. Uh, teammates have made some good passes for him. He wasn't able to catch the ball. And on the defensive end, they're attacking him. So, uh, I almost have to take him out of the game. A seventh turnover. You see Curry on the bench a little bit. He just doesn't seem as engaged. He was the best player on this team at the end of the year last year. 28 points, a career high in a game at Wake Forest. And he's only taken one shot in the first two games this season so far. And that was a jump hook that he left short earlier in this game. But, yeah, you see average 17.6 points, nine rebounds in the last five games, and he's taken one shot. Yeah, so we just got to find a way to engage him. Man. But he's got to look within himself, too, something that he's have to do to really get himself going and get himself engaged in these games. And boy, do they need him. Cards down three. Last five possessions for UofL, 0 for 3 from the field with two turnovers. The spark has really come, believe it or not, from Hersey Miller here this afternoon, but he's on the bench right now, and Trainer can't get the jumper to go. Wright State is doing an excellent job of running their offense and really executing. Louisville's doing a lot of one-on-one. -on -one. It's not like a lot, a lot of movement, a lot of dribbling, a lot of standing. Yeah, a lot of people might not be familiar with Scott Nagy, but he, he's got a pretty impressive resume. We mentioned over 500 wins, five trips to the NCAA tournament with two different programs. There you go, Huntley Hatfield going to the basket. And again, they've missed a couple bunch of layups this afternoon. Yeah, as well. we just got to finish those. It's one thing for Miller to be a little intimidated, the little guy going to the paint, but Huntley Hatfield's got to be able to finish that at the rim. Cards get a steal. Not able to get out of the break and convert. Ellis drives that thinking and then throws it away. But don't put your head down, let's get back. Here comes Wellich. Kicks it out to Norris for the triple. Card still down three. It was just under three to play here. Looking inside for Huntley Hatfield, and we're going to get a block down there on Wellage. A lot of tired bodies out here. That's his first team second. But only the second team foul on Wright State. I'm not. That's a close call. Wright State leads it 32 to 29, but the Cards will have the ball. We return. 2.45 left in the first half. My dad was a hard worker. He used to do side jobs, installing windows, charging something like 100 bucks a window when other guys were charging four to 500 bucks. He just didn't want to do that. He was proud of the price he was charging. My dad instilled in me, always put the people before the money be proud of offering a good product at a fair price. 
I think he'd be extremely proud of me. Yeah. Have you said a merry little Christmas? Let your heart be light. From now on, our trouble will be out. Outside. Unlike the other guys, T-Mobile has price lock. Switch now and we won't raise the price of your talk, text, and data. From Holiday Hills, Illinois. The United States Postal Service. From the studio that brought you Big Hero 6. Our mission is dangerous. What is this place? Discover the strange creatures of Strange World. Don't touch that. Hey, hey, stop pushing buttons. Disney Strange World. Rated PG. Hey, chef. What's your Gatorade, bro? Yes, sir. For punch. I remember way back when. When I was young, I'm not a kid anymore. Cinema Club has done it! And everybody thinks I remember way back when. Start playing and never stop playing. You get the most from the game when you're having fun. I remember way back when. Back at KFC, young center right state, leading Louisville 32 to 29. Now coming up at halftime, Luke Hancock, the most outstanding player of the 2013 Final Four. Well, Join us. He'll have a little bit of the best for the ACC men's tip-off, which was last month uh, in Charlotte. Talk about the predicted order of finish in the ACC and his expectations for the season. And, and when you talk about the ACC, uh, Kent Teller and Larry O'Bannon here. Uh, Larry, you, talk, you start with North Carolina, the number one team in the country. Yeah. Coming off a, a heartbreaking national championship loss last year, those guys are, are motivated and looking to really get back to where they were last year and try to earn that national title. You know, rare in college basketball to have that many guys come back yes. in this day and age. I'm sure name image, you'd probably like to have had some name image and likeness money in your pocket. <laughs> I would love it. <laughs> Ellis misses the jumper. Wellage with the rebound. A lot of shots that we're taking are difficult on challenge shots. It seems like right state is getting easy shots like we Calvin Trey misses Calvin it. The scary one. thing is they're up by three though, and Calvin only has four points, and they all came really early as Ellis gets one high up off the glass and over Finky to get the cards back within one. Cards with James Ellis, Huntley, Hatfield, Kamari Lands, and Jalen Withers. Again, Sidney Curry, we're not really sure just what's going on with him. He's only attempted the one shot all season. And Ellis. Little bit get a huge boost off the bench from Hersey Miller in this game. Lands gets in the paint. Ten on the shot clock right now as James drives baseline as the ball knocked out of his hands by Calvin. Cards will have it on the baseline with nine seconds on the shot clock as Davis checks back to the right state. Not a lot of post play for Louisville. You know, I think that's where we miss I mean, Sidney Curry. Want Curry down yeah. there. Huntley Hatfield, he doesn't want to be down there, but he should be with his size and should have an advantage today. But, yeah, that's kind of where you thought what you'd get from Curry. And then maybe from Wheeler as well, but he came in and picked up 2,045 seconds. So. I, I think Huntley Hatfield does a good job when the guards penetrate and dish it off to him. I think he does a good job of moving on the baseline and finishing. Not necessarily to create for himself, but when others are creating for him and he's able to finish, I think that's when he's at his best. Got the nice dunk on the dish from Hersey Miller earlier. Mm -hmm. James has really been the guy who's been the most productive guy in the post so far this afternoon. He got that one and one. That's the card's only free throw attempt in the entire first half of this game. Just two fouls on Wright State, and that speaks to kind of L not really forcing the action either. All right. Good job to get back to the back. That's back to back drive by Ellis. Cards are back in front with a minute to go. No down the lane. He took too many steps, and you will get the ball with 104 left, up one. Number 12. 
Brent State has not scored in the last 344, but Hillvel hasn't exactly been able to take advantage of that. They are back in front at 33-32 with one minute left to play here in the first half. Kamari lands. Only Hatfield trying to get to the basket. He's going to draw a foul. He's going to get to the line. That foul will be on Braun. Just the third team now foul. 12 on. That's his first team third. And the line for the cards, number five, Hutley Hatfield. He'll shoot two. Cards with just one free throw attempt in the half so far, and that was Mike James on that three-point play. He made it, Huntley Hatfield, now to the line for two shots. Another big free throw and another donation by the Cardinals Charity Strike Partners. And the game for right side. Jackson, what was his first free throw attempt of the season? The Tennessee transfer who had reclassified and played at Tennessee, Larry, and, and the thought was, you know, he would have been one of the top high school players in the country uh, coming in this year and, and a big get for Kenny Payne. Yeah, I think he's trying to fill his way out. He's trying to understand what Coach Payne expects of him. I think he's trying to find his niche on this team and, and where he can really, really bring something and be an impact on this team. 11 seconds difference between the shot clock and the game clock. So Wright State's going to have to shoot. Right now at 15, Finky down the lane. Gets it to Braun. Withers walls uh, up, but Braun... Flexes Pretty easy on lay up there. We'll see the cards hold it for one shot here. 15 seconds left to play. U of L by one at 35 to 34. 10 seconds. L. Ellis with it out front, guarded by Calvin. Seven seconds. Ellis is gonna go to the basket. Oh, good oh. Goodness. goodness, that's a way to finish the half. L. Ellis with the drive. He got 12 points. Six ties, seven lead changes in that first half. But Louisville heads to the locker room with a 37 to 34 lead. And Larry, uh, Kenny Payne's got to feel pretty easy to find a way to get himself going. And White State uh, has to get Trey Calvin going. He had a slow first half. I'll uh, be interested to see uh, if he comes out more aggressive in the second half to get himself going. And Trey Calvin, number one, coming off his 37 point effort in their season opening loss to Davidson with just four points, two of seven from the field in that first half. Cards with the same five who started every game, every half so far this season. And they go right into Sidney Curry, just oh, his nice second shot of the seven. season. Oh, and that's good to see because he was aggressive. He's going to go to the line for two. That's what Cards fans want to see. They want to see the big fella inside the paint and dominate the paint and really establish himself down low. And the Cards made an important uh, factor to come out in the first play to get him the ball down low. And he's rewarded going to the foul line for two. That was the second foul on Braun. First team foul on Wright State. They only had a three personal fouls in the first half. Their entire team, as Sidney Curry gets his first point of the season in the second half of the second game, and that increases the Cards lead to 38-34. Davis, Calvin, Norris, Pinky, and Braun on the court. Davis gets the back door, but he can't finish. And the Cards with a chance to increase their lead. See if they go back into Curry. Huntley Hatfield the three. This is Ellis with the offensive rebound. And boy, is he aggressive. Really aggressive. Did a great job of getting the offensive rebound. Lower the shoulder there to create some contact, and he's going to the foul line to get two. Check out one of the smallest guys on the court, skying for the rebound. Davis, who's a pretty good rebounder, failed to box him out. Ellis fouled. He'll go to the line for two free throws. That foul was on. Amari Davis. He may be one of the smallest on the court, but he's one of the most athletic. He has a pretty good spring in his legs. He's had some good dunks at Louisville Live, but I'm not sure we've seen him dunk in a game. I'm not sure. We, he, he's due for one, maybe, because yeah. you know he can get up and do it. Cards up six now, their biggest lead of the afternoon. See if they can get another stop down at this end. Calvin, as you said, looking for that offense and a, a quick miss, and Huntley Hatfield the rebound. Clearly, they're looking to get him going. Yeah. They're going to need him if they want to win this game. Ellis drives baseline, had it deflected by Calvin out of bounds. It'll be Cards ball on the baseline. 21 seconds of the shot clock. They lead it 40 to 34. Make 
sure everybody's clear on what the baseline out of bounds play is here. They, they look like they're cutting with a little more purpose here in this half, don't they, Larry? They are. They're playing with a little, more, a little bit more energy. These guys are moving. Good drive as you see Jamie Rivers put his head down and get to the basket. Murray comes up with a steal on the baseline. Cards up eight and looking to increase the lead. Withers after the drive, doesn't settle for the three. Huntley Hefter looked like he had about a five-footer in there, but he passes it up. 12 on the shot clock. Withers, the deep triple, is going to come up way short because he was about four feet behind the line. Yep. Not a great possession. Not a bad possession, but not the way to end it. Not the best shot. He just did an excellent job of possession before of getting to the basket, so he's going to do that at, at any time that he wants to. So. Cards already shot four free throws in the second half after only shooting five in the entire first half. And this could be a problem because Trey Calvin gets down the lane and gets the easy basket. And UofL does not want him to get going because he can catch fire quickly. He's got six points so far this afternoon and has them back within six. Yeah, he's come out to really assert himself this second half and try to put his stamp on his game. He's going to have to if Wright State has a chance to win this game. Was that a shot? Not even close, and then Finky can't handle the pass. Gets over to corner three for Norris. Misses. Curry comes up with the rebound. I'm sorry, Hubert's with the miss three in the corner. Here's Ellis. It looks to me like just about every U of L player out there could post up his guy and have an advantage down there. They could. Um, they have to get the proper space and a lot of the big Shot guys. clock winding down and Huntley Hatfield gets to the basket. Good job of putting his head down to get to the basket. Bulls had a lot of success, a lot of great plays when they put their head down to get to the paint. Thank you to miss three, Huntley Hatfield the rebound. I think Coach Payne's really made that a point to really get the paint and stop selling so much from outside. can increase the lead to double digits with a basket here. It's been a good second. Nice pass from Ellis to Huntley. Hatfield, a good catch in traffic, Larry, and then the finish. Great ball movement, great execution, great finish. Finky after the miss three, he drives. Get it inside the broad. Curry all over him, and then they reject him with the left hand. Big time block. Big time block. Now he looks engaged. Engaged, engaged. Just coming out the first play of the second half, getting him the ball, getting to the foul line, getting him on the scoreboard, just gets him engaged on both sides of the ball. <laughs> Braun almost lost his jersey there. Hershey Miller who gave the card a big spark in the first half. Checks in cards on a 17 to four run. They lead right state 46 to 36. Service. Is it Jack? Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Let your heart be light. From now on, our trouble will be out of sight. T Mobile won't raise the price of your talk, text, and data. Plus, families get over $225 in benefits every month. And it's still six dollars. Get the big box y'all love today. Love that chicken from Popeyes. Okay, Jake from State Farm. I really want that person price plan, so here it goes. I like to smell my beard. What? Uh, Especially after a good meal. Hey, hey, you don't need to get that personal. The State Farm personal price plan helps you create an affordable price just for you. Mm. Put the beard down. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Call or click to get a quote today. Oh, 
Our mission is dangerous. If you want to back out, this is the time to do it. <laughs> That ain't good. This Thanksgiving. What is this place? Experience a strange adventure. I'm for a barbecue. Oh. Can you not show off while we are running for our lives? Uh, meet strange creatures. They're not going to eat us, right? No, but they will. And discover Disney's strange world. Don't touch that. Hey, hey, stop pushing buttons. Rated PG. Only in theaters November 23rd. It's Tim Tebow in a Verbo. Where you get the whole place to yourself. So it's always just you and your gators. The new Shark Air Purifier 3-in-1 has something for all of us. Clean air. But air quality is invisible to the naked eye. So Shark's Clean Sense IQ monitors, auto-adjusts, and purifies in real time. While a nano-cell HEPA filter traps dust, smoke, pet odors, and allergens. And with purified heat and purified fan modes, we get year-round comfort and clean air confidence. The Shark Air Purifier family. Louisville with a 46-36 lead on Wright State. And Larry O'Bannon, uh, the cards, uh, we'll take a look at in a minute, but they're LLS getting to the basket and dishing. And getting everybody else involved is Brandon Olskowitz. Here's Ellis. Cards now inside to Withers, and he scores in the paint again. And they are consistently doing that in the second half, I think far more than we've seen them for the entire season. I think they've sort of found their formula for success. Get into the paint, great things happen when you get two feet in the paint. Oh my God, Cicely with the horse shot. He was <laughs> just threw that one up against it. Hersey Miller back into the game for the cards. Uh, gave them a huge lift, just energy-wise. And I think he's the first guy who did go into the paint. He missed a couple layups, and here he turns the ball over. As the lead is eight, here's Calvin. Don't want him to get hot. He gets it to Sisley, and Sisley makes his second basket in a row. And all of a sudden, we've got a six-point game here. Cards with James Trainer, Miller, Curry, and Withers. Calvin, Hubrich, Norris, Knoll, and Sisley on the court for the Raiders. With the lineup that Lowell has in now, it's definitely a great time to get the ball into Curry and let him go to work, create for others. It's always a great time to do that, and how about that? 15-01 in the second half here of game number two, and the first field goal of the season for Sidney Curry, but it is encouraging to see how aggressive he's been, and really both ends of the court in the second half. Rebounded. Let's see. It all started with that first play of the second half, just getting him engaged. Let's see how that plays out for the rest of the half, see if he remains engaged. They need to go back to him right here. Yes. Or let Withers take Calvin, because he's got about a foot on him. It's going to be James who goes inside, stepped on the baseline, I think. Another turnover for the Cards. Not a great possession there. Cards lead it 50-22, 14-28. Left to play here in the KFC Yum Center. y'all love today. Love that chicken from Popeyes. Because your lives are forever entwined. Darling, please be mine. Love Entwined, exclusively at K. Hey. Hey, so what if we have questions about our policy? And what if it's late at night? And what if someone still calls his mom for everything? At State Farm, we're there for your what ifs. Hey, mom. Who? Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Call or click to get a quote today. 
The new Shark Air Purifier 3-in-1 has something for all of us. Clean air. But air quality is invisible to the naked eye. So Shark's Clean Sense IQ monitors, auto-adjusts, and purifies in real time. While a nano-cell HEPA filter traps dust, smoke, pet odors, and allergens. And with purified heat and purified fan modes, we get year-round comfort and clean air confidence. The Shark Air Purifier family. Start playing and never stop playing. You get the most from the game when you're having fun. From the studio that brought you Big Hero 6. Our mission is dangerous. What is this place? Discover the strange creatures of Strange World. Don't touch that. Hey, hey, stop pushing buttons. Disney Strange World, rated PG. From Holiday Hills, Illinois. Fourteen twenty-eight left to play here in the KFC Young Center. This Louisville team with an eight-point lead here and picked to finish 12th in the preseason in the ACC. Kent Taylor and Larry O'Bannon here. And Larry, uh, the league uh, pretty good at the top. And then I think from there on down, who knows what can happen. It's pretty open. You look at the top there, you always know Coach Bennett, he's going to have a strong team at UVA. Josh Shire starting a new era at Duke. And you have UNC with uh, all those guys back. Yeah. yeah. Preseason number one. All right, here we go. Wright State, Davis, Hubricks, inside Noel. Norris and Sisley on the court. The cards with James Ellis, Wheeler, Hunter Hatfield, and Lands for Roosevelt Wheeler, who challenged that shot. He played about 45 seconds of that first half and drew two quick fouls, so I haven't really seen much of him this afternoon. Al Ellis with 14 points. Huntley Hatfield has 10. Trying to make it 13 as he tries the three. I'm not sure that's where the Cards want to live. They need to get, especially the way they've been scoring, uh, get in the lane and score. Right, getting into the paint, dishing, creating for others. Hubert's, Hubert's with the three for Wright State, and they are back within five with 13 and a half minutes to go. The Cards have led by as much as 10, but Wright State has cut that in half. And James with the turnover was thinking of passing it to Hunter Huntley Hatfield. You see Kenny Payne and that right state three by Hubricks. James trying to figure out where that pick is going to come from. It just gave him enough space to get that triple off. And just like that, we got a five point game. And they're doing this also, Larry, really without Calvin. He's with not the, been that much with of a the factor. Player, yeah, not been a non factor. Noel walks as he tries to spin down the lane. And Wright State hands it right back. Turnover number seven for the Raiders. The Cards with 11 turnovers so far this afternoon as we see Scott Nagy in his seventh season as the head coach of the Wright State Raiders in Dayton, Ohio. Let's see if Louisville can get some movement, get some player movement, some offensive movement, and execute on offense, try to stay away from the one-on-one. -on -one. When Louisville goes one-on-one, -on -one, they seem to find themselves in trouble. Jalen Withers in the game. For Mike James, Huntley Hatfield kicks it over to Withers in the corner. He'll try the triple, and he got it. Now that three, you don't mind. Huntley Hatfield getting in the paint, and he kicks it out to Withers for the wide open look. And he has been the best three-point shooter on this team so far this season as Hubricks comes up short. Might have been tipped, and the Cards with a chance to increase the lead that is at eight. Their biggest lead of the afternoon so far has been ten. And Ellis gets lands an open three, but he can't hit it. And now Noel gets all the way down and lands with the block. I thought, he's, I thought that Ooh, might have been clean, but clean. we're going to get a foul. It's not the NBA, so we won't have a challenge. But <laughs> everybody looking up at the big board, I don't know. At first blush, I thought that might have been clean. I thought so as well. Take a look at it. See if he doesn't just block it right off the rim. Yeah, I don't know. I yeah. Referee might have been anticipating the call on that one. 
Brandon Knoll to the line for Wright State. They last year one of the best free throw shooting teams in the nation, but so far today, just five of eight. Let's take a look at this from behind here, and you'll see just right in. Oh my goodness, just got all ball right off the front of the rim. It looks like a clean block. It's blocked by Kamari Lands, and now Noel gets the rebound off his own missed free throw. Spin down the lane and a follow away jumper for Andrew Wellich. And it's back to five. Wright State doing a good job of just hanging around until Trey Calvin can get himself going. An unconventional three points there for the Raiders. Ellis, the mismatch on Braun, but he sees just a bad pass. Yeah. I mean, he had Wheeler posting up Calvin, but um, you, you got to get it to him somewhere where he can catch it. Noel wide open on the baseline, and Wheeler lets him go to the other side of the basket and lay it up and in. And we got a three-point game with 11.37 left. Kenny Payne has seen enough as Wright State is right back in this thing at 53-50. to 50. My dad was a hard worker. He used to do side jobs, installing windows, charging something like 100 bucks a window when other guys were charging four or 500 bucks. He just didn't want to do that. He was proud of the price he was charging. My dad instilled in me, always put the people before the money. Be proud of offering a good product at a fair price. I think he'd be extremely proud of me. Yeah. Two for five menu, you get two delicious things for only five bucks. How will you know which two to choose? Don't ask us. That's a rhetorical question. And everyone knows two for five is better than one. Which is helpful if you struggle with decision making. The Sonic two for five dollar menu. Mmm, Sonic. Let your love story begin with the perfect ring from Sales, the diamond store. Start playing and never stop playing. You get the most from the game when you're having fun. I remember way back when. From Santa Claus. Service. The Wright State Raiders are not going anywhere. Within three points of Louisville with 11 and a half minutes left to play here. Kent Taylor and Larry O'Bannon. And Larry, the, the Raiders are, are taking advantage of maybe some laziness U of L on the defensive end. They've done a great job of taking advantage of Louisville's mishaps. Not communicating on defense. The pick and roll defense you see there. Sprinting back on defense. Or Louisville turning the ball over. They're doing a good job of hanging around. Especially with their best players seemingly not being in his best rhythm tonight. So if he finds his best rhythm, if he finds his rhythm toward the end of the game, uh, it could be a problem for me. Yeah, we see Trey Calvin with some nice assists in that little montage. But uh, just six points in the game for their star who came in or really early in the season, but the third leading scorer in NCAA Division I. 37 points in their opening loss to Davidson. Cards go right into Curry. He kicks it over to Kamari Lance, who's going to drive baseline and then discard Davis with his left hand, and he's going to get called for that offensive foul. Kind of a veteran drawing that for the freshman. 
Yeah, Wright it was. State good play there. Wright State's doing a good job of getting it done by committee today. They're pretty well balanced when you look at the scoring column. Um, nobody's really standing out. You have Alec Kubrick, who has 10 points. But other than that, getting it done by committee today. Cards with a steal on the baseline. I think it was Withers who got the deflection. You'll know with Ellis Huntley, Hatfield, Curry, Lands, and Withers on the court. Davis, Calvin, Braun, Wellage, and Finky, and Ellis with the turnover. And Finky on cue with the steal. And we'll see here's Calvin. See if they can get him going. And they're going to get a three from the corner by Wellage. Misses, and the card's off and running. Oh. <laughs> Withers. Up to Lands and kind of a quick shot there. I'm not sure that's exactly what Kenny Payne wanted. Yeah, that's probably about a one-on-three break yeah, there not, in a three-point game. Definitely not the shots <laughs> you want at this time. You want to make sure you execute with the, the best shot that you can. And well, kind of on cue, we were talking about him, and then you see Trey Calvin. You see what he can do, and you know uh, he's capable of igniting here in the last ten minutes. And in a one-point game, that could be an issue. Even though he hasn't been scoring, he's done a good job of setting his team up and being a good point guard and getting his teammates easy shots. That's one thing he does do. So, probably still has a pretty good rhythm, but seeing that ball go through the hoop now, you know, he probably really look, start looking for a shot a little more. Thank you with the turnover. Withers with a nice jump hook on that last move. Well, exactly. Jalen Withers into double figures now with uh, 13 points. Al Ellis leads the way for Louisville with 14 and Brandon Huntley Hatfield with 10. Withers already with 13 points and nine rebounds. So a rebound away from a double double for Jalen. He's really, really come to life this second half. The first half he looked a little sluggish, but this second half he seemed to really found his rhythm and really kind of sparked the guys. Again, Huntley Hatfield doesn't settle for the three, drives in, but then leaves that one short. Finky all the way to the basket. His left handed attempt hits nothing. And here's Ellis on the break with just Calvin back. And Ellis able to get all the way to the basket in for the layup. He now has 16 points, and the Louisville lead is back to five. And the fast break point, something we have not seen a lot of out of this team. But key to get those easy baskets when you struggle so much in the half court. Davis, I'm not sure that was a foul, but he draws the foul on Curry. I'm sorry, on Mike James. Kind of jumped into. I'm not sure what James could have done different there. I'm not sure either. And if you want to be all the way, you can kind of take, go to the camera to take but, a look at that with the elbow above but, the neck area. The crowd, uh, yeah, the replays, the video board's pretty high def here. <laughs> I mean, it's monstrous. So they can see pretty clearly that those are questionable calls. Uh, not just that one, but the block on Kamari Lands, it was called a foul as well. I think, oh, I think Norris a, back in the game. Amari Davis initiated all the contact there. Let's see it one more time, Larry. Is Davis driving on James, and the freshman does a pretty good job moving his feet, but uh, he ends up getting a foul call. And Davis misses the second free throw. Three fouls on the cards, just two on Wright State in this half so far. Nine minutes to go, Louisville with a four point lead and the ball. Seven seconds on the shot clock. Huntley Hatfield tries to get it to Withers. He recovers it, but there's three on the shot clock. And Ellis is gonna have to fire this one up. And the deep three goes off the back of the rim. As we just get under nine minutes here, this game is gonna come down to who can execute best in the half court. As you see, Calvin gets Finky in open three, and he hits his first triple of the afternoon. And those two guys can score and have not done it at a very high clip so far this afternoon. But Finky gets right state back within one. Whoa, Withers with the dart, and he is absolutely drilled by Norris underneath. L. Ellis is, as Withers was looking for Ellis cutting to the basket. It's a good time to start playing through carry. Get carried the ball. He's got doubled. He's made good passes out of the double. Seemed a little more engaged in the second half. He's got himself on the scoring board. I think it's a good time to really kind of initiate your offense through the big fella. Nice cut there by Ellis and Withers. With a nice pass to find him. Withers all the way to the basket. His running hook goes in. It's a good drive. We keep talking about it all game, but get into the paint. Get into the paint. Make it 15 points now for Jalen Withers. Cards back up three as we near the eight-minute mark. 
Calvin Kubrick, Norris, Knoll, and Finky on the court for Wright State. And Norris throws that away. He thought Calvin was going to cut out. He went the other way. And another turnover for the Raiders. JJ Trainers in for Withers. And I got to believe this might be. Okay. I was going to say, I'm going to leave him on the court. <laughs> Huntley, Huntley Hatfield will take a quick I was going to say, he was going to get a quick blow into the under-8 That's what out. I thought for Withers, <laughs> right, but right back in. better yet, just leave him out there because right. he's been here offense <laughs> the last couple minutes of this one. <laughs> 15 on the shot clock for the Cards. They lead by three, under-8 to play. Ellis all the way to the basket, and that was blocked from behind, I think, by Calvin. Was yeah. To get up to block that, that was impressive. Norris back to Calvin, and wow, the circus shot trying to draw the foul. Didn't get it. Cards another possession up three. Ellis gets a high screen from Curry. Over to James in the corner. He drives baseline, and that's got to be a block, right, on the baseline on Norris? I believe so. Foul on the floor. Cards with a three-point lead. Jalen Withers, 15 points and 10 rebounds for the junior. Cards lead it by three. is ready for Monday Night Football. You already know what time it is. Because you have to be ready for an NFC East clash. You take advantage of the moment. Washington is set to take command. Remember what we do and why we do it. While the Eagles are determined to stay undefeated. Keep flying, baby. Let's go. The Washington Commanders meet the Eagles. It's Tim Tebow in a Verbo. Where you get the whole place to yourself. So it's always just you and your gators. From Santa My mother gave me this ring when I was going through a really hard time in my life. And when she's going through a hard time, she has it. We pass on this ring because we know we're always there for each other. It's our sisterhood. Bold Reflections, inspired by your extraordinary love stories. Jared, love brilliantly. I'll be back in a sec. We can't wait forever. Oh, you're not your friends, please. Fries. Made with Mexican spices. Made for nacho cheese sauce. Only a Taco Bell. When 140 mile per hour winds come out of nowhere and try to wipe you off the map. When you look up and see sky where your roof used to be. When the power is out and stays out for seven or eight or ten days. When the phone lines are down and the cell phones have all gone dead you find out who your friends are. Because the worst brings out our best. Start playing and never stop playing. You get the most from the game when you're having fun. You do what feels right, then own your style. Philips One Blade, your style made simple. There's always a way to make life better. For the good of Christmas. Are you seeing this? I'm retiring. <laughs> it's it's dad, me. I'm going to spend Christmas with my family. I've got to go back to the North Pole. Elves are disappearing. Elves are disappearing? You should have led with that. Oh, oh, oh. 
Seven minutes, 13 seconds left to go here on this Saturday afternoon in the KOC Young Center. Louisville with a 59-56 lead on right state. Kent Taylor courtside with Larry O'Bannon. And Larry O. Jalen Withers has been the difference here in the second half. He's really gotten himself going. You see here on the screen, he scored 11 points in the second half. He's got three rebounds. And really, uh, just been a spark for Louisville in this second half to get these guys going and get them the lead right now. His fourth career double-double also with the 10 rebounds. is 5 for 6 from the field in the second half. And we've seen him hit that three-pointer. Cards just 3 for 14 from 3 in the game. Hit that 3 in the corner a minute ago. But he's been doing it by getting the basket, scoring in the lane. We've seen kind of a variety of shots from him, including that little jump up. He's just being aggressive. Putting his head down, getting to the paint. Just getting in there, just shooting high percentage shots, and which he's done. And so he stopped settling uh, for outside shots and really get to using his size to his advantage to get to the basket. Here we go, LLS with the ball, throwing it in on the baseline. Mike James LLS, JJ Trainer, Withers, and Curry on the court for the cards. And Ellis gets in the lane and scores. He has 18 points to lead the way for U of L, and the lead is back to five. Calvin, Hubert, Braun, Noel, and Finky on the court for the Raiders. Here's Braun inside. He was able to score early, and he gets around Curry. He's crafty in the paint. Gets him into double figures with 10 points and gets Wright State back within three. You got to be worried if you go out too that Trey Calvin might all of a sudden, when he hit that shot a second ago, that could get him going. He could score a bunch of points fast coming off his 37 point effort the other night. Yeah, he can erupt at any time. You know, when you have a lethal score like that, you just want to try to make it tough on him as possible, but try to keep him in his in the Ellis bad with rhythm. A turnover. Finky, that quick trigger on the three, and James has Ellis breaking free. Only Finky back. He goes at him, takes the hit, and gets the left handed layup up and in. Great finish. Great finish. Shows you a little bit of that athleticism that he's so gifted with. Yeah, impressive how he's able to take the bump and then still get the left-handed shot up and in, too. Just a great all-around finish. Coming out of the the first foul on Finky as Ellis completes the three-point play. Increases the Louisville lead to six. The fifth foul on right stay here in the half. Card still with just three personal fouls in this half. Louisville leading at 63-58. to 58. And Trainer uh, trying to fight around Noel there. And he's going to get the foul. But that'll be only the fourth personal foul on the cards here in the half. Here comes Brandon Huntley-Hatfield checking back in. Sidney Curry to go. Right State Curry. making a conscious effort to get the ball inside, posting up. A.J. Braun's done a good job. Withers with the steal on the out of bounds play. He's got James. He lobs it up. And oh, goodness. That's going to be a technical as he could not get the dunk to go. And then he hung on the rim. Larry. If he let the, if if he let the rim go. Yeah, if he didn't let the rim go, the ball would have <laughs> yeah. went in. It would have counted. But he hung on the rim. So. Oh my Basket gosh, interference. that close to the cards, increasing the lead to eight. Withers with a phenomenal steal and then the lob to James, but he couldn't quite finish. And now Calvin looking for his offense a little bit. and Not a great shot. Withers able to save it after the collision with Huntley Atfield. And the cards don't need to be in a rush here, but Ellis, some fancy dribbling, goes behind the back and then doesn't even hit the rim with the shot. Keep this Calvin, simple. the pass to Noel, and he knows how to finish it. The dunk, and all of a sudden, Louisville had the ball up six. They rushed it a little bit. Ellis got a little bit out of control, and now we're back to a four-point game. And that's usually how it goes. Four-point swing, you take a bad shot, not able to set up your defense. Right State gets an easy shot and transition out of the way. Ten seconds on the shot clock as Ellis gets it over to Trainer. Withers has been the best player on the court in this half. Looking for a screen from Trainer. And he gets it to Trainer in the corner. His three off the rim. Thank you, the rebound for Wright State. Not a great possession there by the Cards. Kubrick's guarded by Withers. Over to Calvin. Gets the switch from Huntley Hatfield. Pulls the trigger on the three. And there it is, a three-pointer for Trey Calvin, his first of the afternoon, 
And just like that, Wright State is back within one. 64-63, four and a half minutes left to play, and Kenny Payne wants to talk about it. Good adjustment by Coach Nagy. He's moved Trey Calvin off of the ball a little bit to be, free him up. And he's put the ball in Alex Hubert's hand, and now Trey Calvin can just focus on scoring. Cards with a 64-63 lead, 428 left to play. Let's reset things. 4.28 left to play. 21 seconds of the shot clock. Louisville ball. Cards lead right state. 64 to 63. Both these teams looking for their first win of the season. We saw Kenny Payne, the most animated we've seen him since he got this job, I think, in that huddle. Uh, Ken Taylor and Larry O'Bannon here. And look at him just, I mean. Yeah, I think he's really getting on Brandon Hannon Huntley. Well, and Mike James for missing that lob. Yeah. And, and, <laughs> he actually and, threw his clipboard down. Trey Calvin, the most dangerous player on the court. You you come out and close out without a hand up. I think that's what he was getting on him about. And Looking for Huntley Hatfield in the post right out of the timeout. Ten on the shot clock. He's got Braun on him. He should be able to score over him. He can't get it to go. He's almost got the offensive rebound. Right State's got the ball down one and a chance to take the lead. Here's Trey Calvin, hit his first three of the game. He's now up to 11 points. And we said, he, and he goes right by Trainer, but then throws it right to Withers, who has it knocked away from behind as he tried to kick it up to Ellis. Back to Calvin, and that is at this point almost becoming automatic, and we talked about it, and now it's happening as he hits the shot, and all of a sudden Wright State is in front with under four to go. Louisville with just one timeout remaining, but they will get a TV timeout at the next dead ball. This is the part of the game where your, where your big time players got to step up and make plays. And as we've seen Trey Calvin the last few possessions, knocked down a three, now he knocked down a pull up jumper. 
starting to get himself going because he knows he's got to close out the game. Who's going to make that shot for Louisville? How about Al Ellis for a monster three to put them back in front by two? Al Ellis now at 24 points this afternoon. Calvin gets Ellis up in the air. Huntley Hatfield knocks it away. Braun had position on him. The steal for the cards. Three minutes to play. They lead it by two. Ellis looking for another triple. And he gets it. Back to back threes for L. Ellis and Louisville's in front by five. Big time shots by L. Ellis. Big time plays. Just as we were wondering who was going to take those shots and make those shots for this Louisville team, L. Ellis with back to back triples. And all of a sudden they've gone from down one to up five. Vicky the miss, and James is going to get fouled because he was grabbed there on the baseline as he tried to get the rebound by Alex Hubrix. Larry, you know what it's like to hit some threes and get some momentum going, don't you? Man, nothing like it. A big-time adrenaline rush. You're in the moment. You're feeling it. You let it fly. And that's what L. Ellis is doing the last couple of possessions. Knocked down some big-time threes to give Lowell the advantage. And then last one gives him a new career high, 27 points for L. Ellis this afternoon. Cards by five, two and a half minutes to play, 20 seconds on the shot clock. Mike James with it up front. Ellis Huntley Hatfield, Withers. Trainer Ellis goes baseline. I, I'm not exactly sure what happened there. It's a little out of control. Like a player from Wright State tied him up as he got in the lane and just kind of lost it out of bounds. All right, 2.15 left. Every time it's looked like Louisville was going to pull away, Wright State has had an answer. We'll see if they don't maybe try to get Calvin a shot here because uh, he right now is at 13 points. He's made his last two, so at the end of the game, you would think that they're going to look for him right now to really get him a lot of attempts and have him close out the game and try to get these games out. A little review here to see what happens. Ellis down the lane. No with it. Ellis... I'm yeah. not sure what they're, I mean, he, he clearly, was clearly the last yeah, touch tried to shoot just it. kind of threw it out of bounds, so. All right, here we go, right state, Calvin, Newbridge, Braun, Noel, and Finky cards with James Ellis, Huntley, Hatfield, Trainer, and Withers. Nearing two minutes to play, Louisville with a five-point lead. Newbridge guarded by James, gets the pick from Noel. Noel now with a size advantage on James. See if he doesn't take him down to the post. Calvin looking to score clearly. Drives in on Ellis and he hits the step back jumper. Ellis kind of wanted the push off there. Scott Nagy is going to take a timeout with 1.54 left. Louisville leads Wright State by three. Cards, ball, two minutes to see who can win. My dad was a hard worker. He used to do side jobs, installing windows, charging something like a hundred bucks a window when other guys were charging four to five hundred bucks. He just didn't want to do that. He was proud of the price he was charging. My dad instilled in me, always put the people before the money. Be proud of offering a good product at a fair price. I think he'd be extremely proud of me. Yeah. Welcome back to the KFC Yum Center. Scott Nagy's Wright State Raiders back within three, 70 to 67. Louisville ball, 154 left. Ken Taylor and Larry O'Bannon. And Larry, before the game, you talked about the two stars of these teams, the key players, and they have delivered. LLS a career high 27 points for Louisville. And Trey Calvin started off slowly, but he started to get things going. He just took a basket. Now 15 points for him to get them back within three. Yeah, LLS has had a monster game. He's really carried this Louisville team tonight. And Trey Calvin is really starting to get himself going in the closing minutes of the game, trying to get a W for Wright State. Cards with LLS, Mike James, Brandon Huntley, Hatfield, J.J. Trainer, and Jalen Withers. Withers, 15 points and 11 rebounds so far this afternoon. Huntley, Hatfield also in double figures with 10 points. Six, 15 seconds on the shot clock here. We'll see what kind of shot Kenny Payne wants to get out of that timeout. He gets Ellis driving to the basket, spins, and an easy two for L to get him to 29 this afternoon. They've executed that play greatly. Uh, they ran it early in the half. L. Ellis dished it for Brandon Huntley for a layup earlier in the half. So uh, they're two for two on that play. 
Now see if they can get a stop at this end. Huntley Hatfield obviously with the size advantage making it difficult for Calvin. Here's Withers. Finky steps inside. His shot comes off the rim and the tip by Noel oh, is big time. again nobody boxes him out and they're back within three. One minute to go and we're gonna have one final minute drama here. The last year a player to score 30 points, Jordan Ward. The Milwaukee Buck at Boston College in January of 2020. L. Ellis, a point away from that, and I'm going to guess he's going to get another shot here because he seems like the right option. Seven seconds on the shot clock, six on the shot clock. Withers is going to have to shoot this. A kind of a desperation three, not a great offensive possession there by the Cards. Not at all. Seven second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Withers tries for the steal. Could have been called for the foul there on Hubricks. Cards have some fouls to give. They only have 14 fouls. So do you want to maybe foul here? I mean, it would let them hold for the last shot, but it might take them out of their rhythm. Instead, no goes baseline for the dunk to get them within one with 12.8 seconds left. And you know, they kind of waited for their offense a little bit to get it going. They were able to get the easy basket. And now, though, it's a big little ball with 12.8 seconds left. Finky to a cutting. No, and James kind of lost it. Yeah, they did. They used a lot of time there. Uh, I thought they should have went earlier, uh, especially being down three. But they executed. They got a point. They got an well, excellent dunk there. Now, they do have 16 fouls, so look, they they will be in the bonus. They're not going to have to give any fouls here, but it will be one and one. And don't forget, LLS has 29 points right now. He had a big one and one with less than a minute to go the other night against Bellerman and missed it at a chance to give Louisville the lead. They were down 67 66. So we'll see. Uh, you have to imagine he's the guy Louisville wants to get the ball here. And I think they'd want to take their chances with him at the line again. Definitely, because he's, it's been his night. He's carried the team, and so it's only right for he to uh, finish the game and put the game away and give him a chance to redeem himself for what he did in the development game, even though he missed that. So I give him a chance to get up there and knock down a free throw for uh, winning this game and close it out. Card 7 for 8 from the line this afternoon. Ellis, a perfect 3 for 3. But before then, you want to make sure, you know, I'm sure that right there's going to apply some pressure here. So you want to make sure you're strong with the ball. Make sure you run your hands into the passes. And if you're right state, you're trying to get a quick track, quick steal. And if you can't get that, then you want to foul right away. Interesting, the lineup. Payne has pretty much gone with these five. Coach Payne for uh, the last couple minutes. Sidney Curry, who actually in the second half of this, of this game has played his best basketball of the young season. But again, it'll be Ellis, Trainer James, Withers to trigger and Ann Huntley Hatfield in as well. Calvin Hubricks, Norris, Knoll, and Finky on the court for the Raiders. 13.2 seconds. They put a little time back on the clock. 72-71. Cards with the ball. They'll just have to get it in, and then they figure the foul will come immediately. Ellis is trapped down there, and he spins, and we're going to get a jump ball, and that will be right state possession. It's almost like Ellis was anticipating the foul. Wright State was going to go for the trap, and they do not get a foul called, and they're going to get the ball with 8.4 seconds left on the clock. Yeah, just not a good execution there in your press break. Ellis maybe got a little too deep into the trap zone, and Wright State was able to create a turnover. Here we go, Trey Calvin, six seconds, five seconds. He's going to take the shot. Three seconds, two. He's going to pull up over Huntley Hatfield. Not a great shot, but it is good. Trey Calvin gives the Wright State Raiders their first win of the season, and the cards are 0-2. I mean, just a heck We're going to review that. He clearly got it off in time. There could potentially be some more time left, but I'm not sure. He took it late, and he shot it over Huntley Hatfield. A, a great shot. Great shot. Uh, you talk about big-time players.